So I picked up, it looks like, five cast iron skillets from a friend of mine. Actually, she's been a friend of mine for probably 41 years or longer. I appreciate uh, you giving these up. Thanks a lot. Let's take a closer look at some of these cast iron skillets. See what we got. Well, I don't know much about cast iron skillets. I do know they're heavy, and they probably hurt if you got whacked in the side of the head with them. I do cook with them once in a while. I've got two older ones here behind me that I use. There's a Lodge brand up here in front. I don't use it, it's just for looks. Some of these have markings on them. Uh, I'll try to read those off here in a minute, but I wanna measure these and see what size they are. I'm not sure if this is the correct way to measure a skillet or not. That's about eight and a quarter inches wide. A lot of buildup on it. Don't look like it's uh, been seasoned in quite a while. It looks like on the bottom of it, it says number eight. There might be some other writing down below it, but I, I really can't tell right now. And it does have this ring protruding from the bottom all the way around, a solid ring. The next one looks like it uh, could use a little love as well. It's about ten and a quarter inches wide. Both these so far have uh, these little pour things on the side. I guess if you have some liquid to pour out, maybe that'll help. This one's got the ring also, but it's got three three breaks in the ring. Looks like it says SK. 8 hyphen B. Oh, down at the bottom it says D2. D is in dog, the number 2. This one here is not, not nearly as dirty as the other two. Measures 10 and a quarter as well. It's got a solid ring all the way around the bottom of it. Up here on this end, it says Made in USA, number eight, hyphen B, B as in boy. And it looks like the number seven in parentheses. It also says 10 and a quarter inch. This one looks a little bit bigger. 10 and a half inches across. It's got the ring as well. Looks like it has three splits in the ring, three notches out of it. One thing on the bottom of it is number eight. Not actually number eight, it says eight. This one here is quite a bit larger, definitely deeper. Looks like it's about two and a quarter inches deep. And 11 and three quarters inches wide. It don't feel quite as heavy as the rest of those. The only thing on marking on the bottom of this one is the number 10 in a diamond shape. I don't know if you can see this. Let's see if we can't get these cleaned up a little bit. Well, if any of those markings on the bottom of those cast iron skillets have any indication of uh, the year they were made or the manufacturer, leave me a comment down below. I'm real curious. So I know there's several ways to clean up them grimy old cast iron skillets and get them ready for seasoning. We can go out back, build us a real big old bonfire, get it nice and hot, and pitch them old skillets off in there. A little while on that fire, that'll cook everything off of it. Or we could grab us a sander. We can work real hard on that and get it all cleaned up and make it look nice. 
Or there's the old wire wheel method. That'll clean it up after a little bit of work. That's only name a few different ways of doing it. None of which I'm gonna do. So the way that I've always did the initial cleaning of uh, cast iron skillets, at least the dirty ones, the ones that look real bad, <coughs> cook them in the oven. I'm gonna put this cookie sheet down on the bottom rack. Then I'm gonna take the three worst skillets, put them on the top rack facing down. Some of you may be cringing at the thought of this, but it's the way I've done mine in the past and it's always worked out real well for me. Then I'm gonna set that oven to self-clean. I believe that goes up to a temperature of about 500 degrees. I'm gonna set it for two hours and start it. All right, I'll catch back up with you in a couple hours. Let's take a real quick peek at these two skillets that I use. On the top of this one, right here at the handle, it's got the number eight. It's got the solid ring on the bottom and it's got, it looks like one letter. I can't tell if it's the letter C as in cat or the letter G as goat. This other one is definitely a lot deeper. I use it when I do some frying, deep frying. It's got the split ring on the bottom. The number eight, right below the eight is the letter CF and a D down at the bottom. Yeah, I believe we're cooking now. Boy, I think I need a hair cut. Yeah, I think I got one hair there. I had to get out of the house. It started to smoke up. Took the batteries out of the smoke detectors temporarily and opened the windows. I'm going to come out and visit the chickens for a little bit. Look like you guys could use some more water. Yeah, right down the back of your neck. Normally I call the chickens, but they already know I'm here. I wonder where the rest of them are at. Red, he's the uh, low rooster on totem pole. Got to feed him by himself. If not, he'd get chased off by the other roosters. Red? Would you call that aggressive rooster? Look at him. I'm the only one here. He ain't eating. He's sizing me up. Turn your back on him and may kick you in the leg. Wouldn't be the first time. Just keep an eye on him. See what he does. <laughs> I wonder if he knows I'm watching him.
Well, I guess he don't want to play with me today. Chick, 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 chick. Fighting true blue. I see some uh, chickens are having a dirt bath. Yesterday the water was frozen up here in that IBC tote. At least it was down around the valve. I couldn't get the valve opened up to fill up that water bucket. Take a look at it today. Oh, yeah. Let's thaw it out. French black copper marron. Well, by the time that cast iron gets done cooking and cooling down enough that I can handle it, I think it's going to be my supper time. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here, and I'll pick it up in the future of how I actually do the seasoning of my cast iron skillets. So if that's something you're interested in, in seeing, be sure to hit that notification bell. And I'll catch y'all next time here at Diddle Do Homestead. Have a good evening, everybody.